Doodle Your Way to Personal Transformation. Recently, I came across an HBR article, Harvard Business Review, that laid out a framework for parents to spend their time and energy more efficiently in raising their children. On one side of the axis is the passion of the parent, and on the other is the contribution of the activity towards the child's development. As any management matrix framework would dictate, the best place is to be at the top right corner. Not to be outdone, McKenzie offers a framework for intentional learning called the 3 by 3 by 3 The essence of this framework is to set three goals that extend over three months, and you as a learner connect with three people who can help you achieve these goals either directly or indirectly. I represented that framework visually in this way. A lot of management consulting revolves around such frameworks, which is used as a mechanism to summarize and convey complex information. Many companies are embarking on this digital transformation journey. Here too, we might use frameworks to drive change. The essence of such approach is to capture the current state of the organization and then depict the target state based on customer needs, the market scan, and business capabilities. Then we design a plan to get to the target. As an example, many companies are adapting to the AI era from an internet era, going through a digital transformation. So why can't we use similar principles for personal transformation? We too can identify a current state of our professional ecosystem, figuring out personally where we would like to be, and then create a plan to get there. In this picture, I've doodled some shapes to illustrate the concept. You don't have to worry about the specifics in this particular picture. We'll talk about similar things or how to do this later. Creating a visual like this will essentially serve as a roadmap for transformation, which is a powerful way to think about your future. A future in part that will be dominated by AI and therefore will have impact on the work you do in some way. So how do you start doodling or creating a framework, if you want to put it nicely? For those who don't doodle or haven't done it, start with something simple. All you need is six simple visuals. Use a rectangle to represent anything that's concrete, like a building or a car. Use an oval to represent anything abstract, like culture or innovation. Use a stick figure for humans, because we're special. Use arrows for relationships. Use color to call out important parts. And use whatever else your imagination might bring. Here are some examples. That's a person diving off of a cliff into water. In this one, I'm saying that it's a problem driving in the opposite direction on a two-lane road. Here, I'm saying not to cross the railroad track when a train is barreling down. And lastly, I learned not to argue with my wife because I can't win. There are so many jobs out there, and there will continue to be many jobs in the future. Yes, because of AI, some of these jobs will disappear, and new ones will be created. The new emphasis in the future could include ethics, storytelling, and empathy, just to name a few. Then the question is, knowing all this, how do we adapt to the future? One starting point to consider is your education, your knowledge, your passion, your strengths, and your experience. Think about all these in your own context and figure out how you might be able to combine these in unique ways to differentiate yourself from others and also to complement AI systems. By the way, you don't have to be a technical expert to thrive in this new AI world. Let me give you an example. Here is a state-of-the-art diaper, a device that can detect yellow and brown signals from the baby through sensors. When this happens, the parent is notified through the phone. Data is sent to the phone. Sensors 
also measure temperature, sodium content, viscosity, and many other attributes. This data is sent to the phone and uploaded to the cloud. There, an ML model or a machine learning model will take the inputs and analyze the data for infection or even better, prediction of an infection. If the onset of in infection is detected, a pediatrician may be notified, who in turn calls the parent to bring the baby in earlier for preventive care. From a technology perspective, in addition to AI, cloud, and mobile devices, we also need IoT devices, cybersecurity to prevent the baby's data from getting into the wrong hands, blockchain to prevent fraud, a network infrastructure for data transmission, and which all comes together to solve a problem in the health domain. But for a company to market, sell, and make a profit from the smart diaper, it still needs sales, marketing, engineering, manufacturing, finance, support, inventory management, and shipping, just to name a few. While there will be a heavy technology component in each of these areas, AI will not simply replace any of these functions. The jobs in these areas will morph to adapt to technologies like AI, but there is still a place for human collaboration for a long time to come. So the future jobs will call for both the left and right brain skills. On the left, we have logic and problem solving, while on the right, we have art and imagination. If you can identify your strengths across the whole brain and craft your future state based on context, on your context, then you'll be able to adapt and thrive in a future no matter what it brings. There you have it. Start doodling to understand your environment and your goals. Through doodles, you'll create your own frameworks. This is better than many of the frameworks offered by the best management theories of today. And I discuss a lot of this in my book, AI and You. Good luck. My videos are free forever. If you get value from them and have the ability, please donate to the cause that I'm currently supporting by clicking on the donate button. For a one-page visual summary of this video, sign up on my website. Thank you deeply for giving me the motivation to do what I do.